What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. I know I didn't go live on Whatnot last night. I was just beat from the show um, that was set up at it up in Louisville, the Derby City Card Show. I didn't get up early, got there. I didn't go to bed till late type deal, so kind of did it to myself. So, got to re-energize, re-energize here. Got a lot of PSA to get out here this week, so we'll see if I can get something uh, this weekend or not. But we will definitely do overtime this weekend, definitely overtime. So as you guys could see, it was pretty packed into there. I think like only one, maybe two dealers didn't show up. I did get a chance to walk around a couple times. I missed two cards sold, so bad on me because I had to run back to my table and stuff like that. But I did find some pickups up there. Got to meet some new people and some people I haven't seen for a while at the shows. Uh, a couple people I've never met from YouTube came up and said I watched my videos and or they watched the videos and everything. So really always good to see stuff like that. So like I said, really good show. Uh, being considering it was still considered like Fourth of July because you, most people took off like last weekend through this weekend. They still had a good steady flow just like normal uh, out there. So really really happy. I uh, can't wait till their show in September, but let's move into it. Picked up uh, just two lots out there. Uh, one was real late at the show, uh, my hockey stuff, as always. So a couple of those things are going to go into PSA, and I'm trying not to knock over my PSA stacks here on the side. I'm trying... Okay, we'll do these first. So found this here. I like these uh, die cuts from Upper Deck. This is the Black Diamond, Hard Heroes. These aren't real expensive. This will go out, uh, you know, the $18 level. Just, I like these. I might try doing the set again of these. We'll see. And then I picked up a Malkin, Sign of the Times. It has a little bit of an indention up here. So I'm sure it's going to come back in 8. But we have no idea what's going to go on Malkin. Hopefully stays in Pittsburgh. But over in, probably the night by Wednesday, we'll know for sure. Because that's free agency day. So we're going to get that done out there as well, too. All right. So the other one was a football lot. I don't know how many people actually know, but I told the story too. But Jack Lambert, my first autograph I ever got as a kid, I think I was like five, stood out there forever waiting on him. And this was the, uh, what do they call it, the training camps was done in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. And I mean, he was all over commercials out there. I don't know, Jack Lambert. I just won Jack Lambert's autograph and stuff, so... I remember him coming out the tunnel, walking back, coming out partway, walking back. And then it was just like me, my mom, and I think another lady and her daughter left out there. So he finally left and he signed for me. So all I got is rookie here. Uh, probably come back, I'm guessing, a three, four, maybe. I don't know. But just a nostalgia purpose on to it. That's why I'm setting it in. The other two, good old Firemouth, big old Spectra patch there these are i think they're like 30 40 bucks maybe i don't even know i'm guessing somewhere in that neighborhood i got a heath miller auto as well too this one is out of 35 just some different stuff you know you sell stuff like you know 60 dollars a dollar ben boxes out of my stuff try to find some other stuff to pick up that i like out there but that's it nothing big crazy at all was purchased uh Really, really good show. Like I said, there was two cards that I was should have bought when I went to the table and just blew off my table because I did have somebody next to my table watching it. But I didn't, and I missed out on to it. Um, I was contemplating on buying a Mike Trout finest rookie there. And even if I could have got him down to, to the eBay sold prices... I don't even know if he'd have went that low. That's just a bad part. I think he went 355, and I mean I seen him around like 280, 300ish, and that was not me even looking at it into there. Uh, I I know everybody wants to try to make money, and sticker prices are different out there, but you gotta always try to keep your stuff updated with recent sales. It's just hard to, and then you feel bad, or you know, like man, I gotta tell this dude he's high priced. Uh, hey last couple sold were at this can you do this and you know some people take it okay some don't out there but all right everybody appreciate watching the video like i said it was real short and quick and sweet out there 
Um, you guys see a couple, seen a couple of the pictures of stuff that I was looking at. I'll tell you, two of the cards were on there that I was looking at gone. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. See you guys next video.